What up and welcome back to Boring Reviews. Jody here. Nick here. And Nick clicked on the video and the first thing that came out of my mouth was, oh, oh no. <laughs> Today we are reacting to another Jimmy Carr. Except for this time we're reacting to Ultimate Sexual Fantasies. Listen, he's going to tell the jokes. He's not asking for ours. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Now, side note, I'm wearing the, the England cricket hat. And I'm sure there's some people that watch these videos like, oh, he's reacting to the UK, so he went and bought an England hat. No. I actually am a fan of English cricket. If you ever want to know, ask me questions in the comment section, I'll respond. But I just want to say they are currently, currently the T20 and ODI World Cup champions. So just saying, the World Cup's coming up, what is it, October or November this year, so that'll be exciting to see that. New Zealand fans, sorry about 2019, but not sorry. So just want to throw that out there. It's not just to be like a shell or a shill, whatever that phrase is. I actually am a fan of the sport and the team. But we're going to go and check this out. If you like our reaction in any way, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded video. I'm already not. A fan. It's always good not to be. Not looking forward to this. It's always good to be edumacated. Mm -hmm. on what other people it's interesting to see what mm -hmm. other people enjoy mm -hmm. and i'm sure jimmy carr will give us a very tasteful viewpoint on his oh i'm sure it'll be tasteful here we go i've read an article recently about british men's ultimate sexual fantasy and it surprised me the results of it surprised Education. me it was a proper survey they asked three thousand men their opinion i'd like to do a little straw poll in here this evening because the results of this i was shocked ultimate sexual fantasies has anyone got one they wouldn't mind admitting to jessica Arbor. Jessica Alba, it's a specific person that you, that you would like to bone. <laughs> While I happen to know Jessica Alba does an awful lot of work for charity, maybe... <laughs> you can shout that out. Any other ultimate sexual fantasy? Girlfriend. My girlfriend. Well, maybe we could double-team her. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend is your ultimate sexual fantasy. Yes, people see my girlfriend and they see me and they say, she's only going out with you because you're famous. And I say, but I am famous. <laughs> <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> yeah. I, I know what's going on. It's bad to back and forth. But still, that's kind of crossing the line just a little bit. I know he's trying to get a rise and he wants him to respond to him because the whole heckler thing is part of Jimmy Carr's act. I get that. But come on, dude. Really? His girlfriend? Yeah. I was thinking when he's saying ultimate sexual fantasies, I wasn't thinking people. I was thinking like... Well, I think that's what he's asking, but that like first person started off with Jessica Alba. Okay. Who is a very attractive woman, very but again, beautiful. I would think, like, you know, the whole Friends episode where it's like the Princess Leia, Leia that kind yes. of stuff, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is, is that your girlfriend? That is my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend? <laughs> I'm not going to swap if that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, came back to him. I thought he was going to say something else. That was brilliant. Can I just clarify, you are a beautiful lady, no disrespect to you, <laughs> but he heckled, I had to put him down, and the only way to get to him was through you. <laughs> I like how you I like the way as well, yes. I suggest your girlfriend wasn't good looking up, and you applauded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be using those hands later on, won't you? Uh, <laughs> Man, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Any other ultimate sexual fancies? A Viking helmet. There you go. What have you got? Two vaginas. <laughs> Good, lovely. Any other ultimate sexual fantasies? Schoolgirl. Schoolgirl. And then you've pointed at your man. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got a, we've got a special term for a schoolgirl fantasy now. We call it pedo. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Do you like what do you like? Schoolgirl teacher. Schoolgirl school teacher. So though, really. <laughs> Yeah, no, because the specialist term for the schoolgirl unit. Yeah, it's a, you, you are a pedo. <laughs> it's no, it's good. Look at the positive. You get to be on a list. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Everyone in the neighbourhood knows where you live. Yeah. That's convenient, isn't it? Oh my God. Do you make her dress up as a schoolgirl? She's done it. Oh my God, you're sharing. She's done it. <laughs> Have her washed and brought to my room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Why? Don't wash her. Oh. <laughs> Bestiality! Bestiality! Oh, the reaction. Well, easy, easy. Let's just think this through, because bestiality, a lot of people just write off as a terrible thing. Let's look at both sides. Let's say you... 
bank account, and that could happen. You sound like a nutter. No, let, let's imagine you cow. You haven't actually harmed the cow. Cow's enormous. You're not going to trouble it with your tiny cock. <laughs> but, but, you know, but you've probably distressed the animal. Daisy's probably thinking, what the f*** are you up to? <laughs> On the upside, though, you've had a whale of a time, and if you have a baby with a cow, it'll be a minor tour. <laughs> it's like Bully from Bullseye. <laughs> Just putting it into terms he'll understand. <laughs> Any other ultimate sexual fancies? <laughs> An amputee. What? It's not Paul McCartney, is that? I can't see. <laughs> An amputee? It's a bit weird, the Paul McCartney thing, isn't it? I mean, he's Paul McCartney. He's, a, he's a, a national treasure, a global icon. He was in The Beatles, and he couldn't find a woman with four working limbs. <laughs> That's he had to make do. People... Uh, she actually... She accused him, I believe, of, of hitting her. Which is... Um, do you think he hit her? <laughs> do, do you think he hit... Do you think Paul McCartney hit Heather Mills? I, I don't think he did, but, I mean, if I'm honest, I would have. <laughs> no, I'm not advocating violence against women in any way, shape or form, but it'd be interesting to know whether she would spin round like a swing ball. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and actually, to be honest, she accused him of hitting her with her false leg. <laughs> that is disgraceful, and that is a lie. I can, I can tell you why that is definitely a lie, cos if you hit someone with a false leg, technically, that is a kick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The reason I mention this is because in this article it said that the most common ultimate sexual fantasy, ultimate sexual fantasy, remember, in the UK is to have two women at the same oh, time. Okay. It got me thinking, well, I mean, I'm not saying it wouldn't be fun to have two women at the same time. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, show business. <laughs> yes, I'll tell you what I'd be if I wasn't a comedian. A virgin. <laughs> I just think if it's your ultimate sexual fantasy, you're only limited by your imagination. Two women at the same time is a bit lame. You could have anything you want. You could have a woman with 15 tits riding a unicorn across a rainbow. <laughs> Never mind, two women at the same time, I mean, at least, at the very least, go for three. Because <laughs> think about it, how much better would it be having sex with two beautiful, attractive women if you were safe in the knowledge all the while you were f***ing them, there was another one outside washing the car? <laughs> That would make it just a little bit better, wouldn't it? <laughs> I told my girlfriend my ultimate sexual fantasy was to have two women at the same time, and she agreed. But then she was livid when I told her she wasn't either of them. <laughs> <laughs> she was going to be the one outside washing the car. <laughs> I did have a threesome once. This was many years ago, about eight, nine years ago. I was seeing this girl. It transpired she had a twin. So I asked. You don't ask, you don't get. I asked, I got. There's a lesson in life. <laughs> it was... Brilliant. <laughs> One of the best experiences of my life, because if anything, a twin was better looking than her, and an all round great guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you knew something was coming, <laughs> but you didn't realise it was going to be her brother in her. <laughs> Are there people in from the West Country going, I don't really get it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh, I was already oh thinking when he said her twin, I'm thinking, yeah. ew, why would you, thought... siblings, why would you do that? And I thought it was the same just thing. all, it was just, that was just all wrong in so many ways. Oh, so many ways. But you hear that all the time, like, hey, we're twins, dude, triplets or whatever. And I always think about that as well. Usually it's in movies. But I always think about that, like, no twin or triplets, like, oh, yeah, let's all be in the same no. bed together. No, that's incest. That makes my stomach feel yucky. <laughs> we had to take it so seriously. I feel so yucky. It's funny because in one of our Jimmy Carr reactions, I had asked, where you had asked, like, he reminds me of someone. He reminds... And then when they say Ro Roger Federer, I'm like, oh my gosh, he looks just like Roger Federer. There were a few other ones that were good out there. He's a tennis player. Mm -hmm. Do you know what he looks like? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show Jody a picture. But that was spot on because he looks just like him. But see, that video wasn't too bad. You were worried about it. It was fun. It was playful. No, I still feel yucky. Why? Well, the twin part, but right. you're thinking too much about it. All right, let's see what this Roger guy looks like. Oh, yeah. yeah. They look a lot alike. Isn't it crazy? Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, I don't know the word, uncanny. Yeah, it's that's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. 
That's crazy. But that was hilarious. I mean, he really nailed that guy at the very beginning who said, like, your girlfriend. But you're right. I agree how he said, hey, nothing against you. He made fun of my girlfriend, and so I had to get him back. And then Through you. he started clapping when I said that you were nasty, so. <laughs> yeah, and I get it. Like, and I know that the audience is going to say, well, when you go to his show, you know you're going to get that. And I totally get that. But I do respect the fact that she's not the one who yelled out. Her boyfriend yelled out. So yeah. I respect the fact that he did say, hey, just so you know, nothing towards you. You know, kind of a thing. The amputee, I don't get it. I don't know if that was someone who was in there so he can do the whole Paul McCartney feel. Because yeah. I don't know. I and mean, the, the animal one. That was just, un that yeah. was just uncomfortable. That I'm was, sorry. That was uncomfortable. And I love the audience reaction. Like, even in the UK, yeah, where they're they like, can take a no. joke, they're like, whoa, you crossed the line. Too much. And so it is curious. Was that planted too? Because he was like right with that one. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe. I give a lot of credit to the guy who said a schoolgirl because when after he called him a pedo, he went back to me and said, schoolgirl, she's done it. Like, he was still able to, like, take that joke and move forward. Well, to be honest, she's the one that said schoolgirl. Yeah, well, she ran she's him out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, he was able to own her and be like, oh, no, yeah. she's totally lying. Never. I like the college schoolgirl. Yeah. But anyways, it's always a blast listening to him. I love seeing him interact with the audience. And this is interesting because we just reacted to Sarah Milliken. And now Jimmy Carr, and they both did the same thing. Most of the mm -hmm. video was just back and forth with the audience. It's a lot of fun. It takes a very talented comic to be able to do that. Let us know what else you want us to react to from Jimmy Carr or from any other comedian that you haven't seen us react to yet. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.